Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Rudy back at it again with another New York Giants video. So, yeah, that is pretty much a Giants uh, offensive season in a nutshell. Come to find out, the play call at the end of the second quarter was an audible on Tyrod Taylor, which was a bad call because even I have the common sense with no timeouts in 14 seconds. If you run that ball and you don't get it in, you know the guys are just going to pile up on you to waste time. So you're not going to have a chance to spike the ball. Blah, blah, blah. The saga continues with the offensive line. Those were three points that were gone. If we take that three points, try to throw it in the end zone a couple of times, don't get it. That's nine. That's nine, nothing, halftime. Then that field goal that we kicked, that made it. 9-7 to seven when we took the leave, that would actually be 12-7. to seven. The Bills took another long drive, went down there and scored. That would have made it 14-12 to 12, instead of 14-9. See where I'm getting at? We wouldn't have to worry about this last-minute drama because we would be kicking the game-winning field goal to win 15-14 instead of trying to score a touchdown to win the game. And that play was more of a pass interference in the end zone. He was grabbing his jersey the whole time. The whole time, they didn't even turn around to look, and they didn't even call that a pass interference. Bad call by the refs. Bad call by the refs. We got the running game going more in the second half. But again, the Giants offense can't protect and can't produce. Yeah, the Giants offense is moving around a little better, uh, having Tyrod in there. But Tyrod's been in that system for a long time. You know, he's more elusive than Daniel Jones. Danny Jones is not that elusive. He's a, he's a fast guy, but he's, he's more of side to side, you know, you know, east, west, you know, north, south, whatever the case may be. But again, man, Giants one in five, man. I mean, did I expect for the, for the Giants to win this game? No. I'm a realistic. I'm realistic. I mean, fuck. but man, it, this one hurts more because we had a chance. If you would have kicked that field goal before halftime, we'd be kicking a game-winning field goal to win 15 or 14 instead of trying to score a touchdown and win this game. I mean, the Giants, they suck. Offensively, they suck. The defense, I got to give mad props to. They did a great job on Josh Allen. That is the recipe to slow down Josh Allen. We held the Bills to 14 points. The defense played phenomenal. I have hats off to the Giants defense. Wink. And his play calling and the players to be in their right positions to make every play. Proud of the Giants defense. The Giants offense just sucks, man. No matter who's the quarterback back there, can't protect. Um, we had some good plays. We threw it a little bit more downfield. Um, slightly because Tyrod had to be elusive more. Uh, he's more elusive than Danny Jones, like I said. He can move around the pocket a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? And get the plays to develop a little longer. Unlike Daniel Jones, he just starts running for his life because he got hit and sacked so many times this year. But look, man, the Giants suck offensively, man. The defense has been getting better and better every week. Got to give props to them, man. Uh, it's just, it's just This one hurts a little more because we were there. We were there, man. Not to be another upset, but it is what it is, man. Let's check you guys throughout the week. Till next time, peace.